at the end of the day, you can see all of our pattern, all of our pieces are ready. So you can see our fabric, and then you see our lining, and then we have our tool for the net. So this is the back, and then this is our bra cup. So I've cut out the lace. I'm going to be using it for the bra cup area. And then I cut out satin also. I have some satin here. And then this is the lining. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to go and start, start stitching on the machine. The only thing that I've not cut out is the skirt part. I've not transferred the skirt to my lace. So I'm just going to leave that. So I'll go over to the machine. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you all for subscribing to stylish niger youtube channel okay so in today's video is the continuation of the video that we actually started from our previous class so now we're going to be stitching all of our corset pieces together so we're just going to stitch along so the first thing i'm going to stitch and i'm going to stitch the cups together so i'm just going to stitch them join them together like this and then I'll go ahead and do that. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to attach my back yoke. So I'm just going to stitch it down. Okay, so you can see I finished stitching my back yoke and then I've added the dart also to it. So the next thing I've added the dart on my front piece. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, so I cut out straps of about one inches. I'm going to use them to create boning chambers here. So I already have a very detailed video on how to do this. So you're just going to put it like this. I'll stitch it down and then turn it and secure it down so it can it can serve as the casing for my boning. So I've gone ahead, I've created the boning um, chambers that I'm going to to pass through. That's the casing, chambers, whatever you choose to call it. So I finished creating. So I did the same thing on the back case. So you can see our corset is getting beautiful. The next thing is I'm going to cover the cups right now. The corset cups. So I'm just going to place this like this and then I'm going to use my pin to pin it. It is a simple process and then I'm just going to sew it on my machine right now. I'm just going to stitch. So I'll stitch sew it from the front. Yes, yeah, so you can sew from the front. You can sew from the back. So it depends on what you want. So you're just going to make sure that it's sitting like this. And then I'm going to pin it round more and then I'll stitch it round. Okay, so I've gone ahead to attach the first bra cup. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to attach the second bra cup. So I've not added the boning. So I just want to finish and then I'll pass them through the down. So in attaching, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the line, my dart line, I'm going to place it here and then I'm going to stick it. So you can see how equal both of them are looking already. So I'm going to just complete this other part. So you can see how beautiful she is looking. So the next thing now that I'm going to do now I'm going to add my yoke to it. So I'm just going to stitch it like this from here to this end and then stitch the other part. <coughs> Okay, so after stitching, so you see, all you are going to do, you are going to notch around the cleavage area. Make sure you notch it gently so it relaxes nicely. Just notch around gently. I 
okay so we're almost done with the top part so you see it is sitting properly i've not added my bone i need to iron it first before adding the boning so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to stitch my lining together i'm going to couple the line so these are the back of i'll just go ahead and do that okay so i finished cutting i finished attaching the loops to the back so the owner of this corset actually wanted loops i would have used eyelets for her but she wanted loops so in making loops so all you are just going to do is just take your fabric so i decided to use this fabric this satin and then just cut and then stitch to your desired size so the next thing so for the back neckline i just deepened it a little bit so because of the loops that are going to be here this side is just going to be open so that is why i just increased the depth just increased it to the to the back um, yoke down part of the yoke so the next thing we're going to do now i'm going to cover this with a line so that i can cover up my i can cover up my cover up all of the, the stitches so in covering it so you see it is a simple process after adding your eye your loops like this but if you are using an eyelet you don't need to do this after stitching that is when you would insert the eyelet so what i'm going to do now i'm going to stitch this one like this i'm going to stitch so i'm just going to do this like this i'll drop my yoke like this to this down part i'll take this and then i'm going to stitch it like this from the inside like this okay so the way to stitch it i'm going to take the yoke so you see the yoke i brought it back down and then i'm going to take my line like this i'm going to follow this stitching line you understand that's the yoke line i'm going to stitch i'm going to stitch it straight like this and then I'll stitch it down like this to this part and then I'll stitch the side. So I'm not doing an inseam, so I'm just going to stitch directly like that. Okay, so at the end of the day, so you can see how it is looking like. So it came out very fine. So the next thing, I'm going to go and cut out my skirt. You know, remember the last time I did not transfer the skirt to the fabric. So I'll transfer the pattern now to the fabric. I'll cut out the back and then cut out the front so i'll come back and show you okay so this is my back piece so this is my front piece i'm going to join it together so for the front piece if you notice i've not added the lining so i'm going to join the basque so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the center like this and then i'm going to start stitching Can see i finished teaching so it came out very beautiful and well so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to trim the side of my dress okay, so before i join the back and the front together i'm going to take my remaining lace fabric so i'm going to drape it on the side i'm going to drape it on the side of my skirt so i'm just going to hold the edge just about two yards so i have about two yards remaining. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fix it on this part like this. So I'm just going to pleat it and just fix everything. That's I'm just going to fix everything. Let everything enter into the side like this, just one side of my skirt. So I'll go ahead and then it's going to be dangling like this. So I'm just go. I'll go ahead and do that and then. I'll come back and join the back and the front together. Okay, so you can see I finished teaching it. So I just stitched it. I just ruffled it on the side. So the next thing, I'm just going to leave this now. And then I'm, we're going to join the back and the front together. So in joining the back and the front together. So this is the back piece. So I've stitched the up and the down together. So the only thing that is remaining is for me to add my zip here. So in adding the zip, I'm just going to add the zip on this part like this. I'll add it and then I'm going to trim it because my zip is a little bit longer. So I'm just going to trim it to where I don't have a short zip. So I'll just trim it up to this point. And then I'll join the back and the front together. So in joining the back and the front together, I'm just going to trim the sides also. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stitch my dress on the shoulder. I'll join them on the yoke, both of them the yoke together, and then I will join the side. So I'll just use half of an inch to join on the side. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so I finished stitching it. So I got this looping um, rope from my regular tailor accessory shop. So when I asked them, they said it is a um, for, but they, I think they called it, I forgot what they called it. So I just saw it and then I got it. So that's what I use. So the next thing I'm going to fix the zip now. And then I will turn the front with my lining. I'm just going to go ahead and okay so you can see that we are almost done now so what I'm going to do now so for the sleeve I'm not going to be showing the sleeve in this video I'll show it in an upcoming um, tutorial so as you can see I've already cut out the sleeve but I'm just going to exclude it from this video because the video is getting too long because it is very detailed so I'll just skip that part and then I'll show it in another video so I'm just going to place it on the mannequin now for you to see. So you can see what I did on the side. So this is the part where our drape is going to pass through. It's going to pass. So I just made something, just use a strap, just made something like a cage. So when I place it on the mannequin, you see how it's going to look like. So I'll just go ahead. So for the front of the skirt, so it's not always advisable for you to turn your, the, your, your lace. So I just attach the edge of the lace to the down part of my skirt so that will make it fine and neat. So I'll just go ahead and then you will see the final look. Okay, so at the end of the day, so you can see how a corset dress is looking like it actually came out beautifully well. So for this top part, so I just used uh, applique to, I just applied an applique. So since it is a sleeveless, because it's going to have a cut shoulder, so you have to finish up the arm hole properly. So I use this slim applique just to finish up the arm hole area properly. So for the for the drape, so you can see how the drape is looking. So in fixing the drape, also because of this casing that we made here, you are just going to take this however, and then you pass it through those parts. So you really don't need to attach it. You really don't need to stitch it on. And then you use your hands to just arrange it, arrange the drip. Let it okay. So at the end of the day, so you can see our dress, it is looking beautiful. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. The video at the end of the day came out beautifully well. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and then like my video. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you.